everybody. This is Missy Evans with Missy Evans Crafty Creations. I'm here to do this tray here. I'm going to make myself a beading tray. Um, plus, I, I got an order for a pair of earrings, so I was going to do that with it. And I'm mixing up my resin right now. I'm using this kind of resin, one to one ratio. I'm going to be doing this tray in two different pours. Um, the bottom part of the tray I want done in this. I'm, I'm using this pigment paste. In this pigment paste. I want that to be on the bottom part of the rim around this way. Just a shallow layer of it and then I'll let that cure and then I'm going to put a set of lights in it with just clear and I said I'm making this for a, a beading tray for me for my jewelry and I need to use the little lights I'm going to put in it the little fairy lights to help me give me some light when I need it and um, I don't want all the light just shooting out on the top I actually want it to be you know when the tray is turned over on the inside of the tray I want the light to shoot out that way to help my eyeballs <laughs> And I want to thank everybody for watching. If you're a return viewer, thank you, thank you. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, please do so. Um, hit the like button. If you like what you see, leave me a comment. You can ask me any questions. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Um, or if there's something you might want to see maybe that I'm not doing right now uh, I've got skull modes I've got another smaller tray mode and I do have some of my things I did open an Etsy store an Etsy shop and I will have that linked in this video with my Etsy shop right now I've just got a few things in it but it does have some uh, some keychains and um, domino sets. Okay, let me see how long. Okay, it's been three minutes. Okay, I need to stir up the pigment paste. I'm just going to let this resin sit here a minute to let it. Some of the bubbles float up and dig us off. And these, I gotta get these stirred back up. Or it's not quite yet. Phew. I don't know how long these pigment pastes usually last. But I've had this one for about six months and it was a lot thinner than this. So I don't know if this is starting to be on its last leg. I don't use this that much. And you just need a very tiny amount. I'm going to go ahead and put this stick in this cup. Let's set it right there. And put the lid back on this. I'm doing this real quick. My puppies are asleep. Seven little puppies. It's two males, five females. And they're seven weeks old. 
and getting very full of energy. She had 15 puppies, but these seven was all that survived, which I didn't think that they would all survive anyway. She's just a mixed breed dog. I don't know. As far as we can tell, she looks like she's got some lab in her. She's got some, maybe a little bit of a, a pit bull in her. Um, and she has real long jaws, almost like a basset hound. <laughs> she's a weird combination. And yes, we did foster her. Well, my son did. So I guess, yeah, I have two now. Okay. There's that one. Stuff is messy. It gets everywhere. And yes, I do still have a little bit of the sniffles. I've been battling this. I don't know what it was. Flu, COVID. I think I had more than one thing. I know my grands, one of my grandsons actually had three things back to back. COVID, flu, and um, ear infection, bronchitis. So, yeah, four things. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the blue flake in this cup for the earrings. Or blue flake. Blue, you know, the royal blue foils. I'm just going to get some to come out. Let's see. Well, I know that ain't gonna be enough. All right. Get the lid on these. And I do have this stuff on my heating mat. My free <laughs> heating mat from Timu for playing the Fishland game. Yes, you do get free stuff. I've got this heating mat and I also got a uh, a bottle of glow in the dark pigment. And we'll fill these two cups pretty much most of the resin. Oops. Make this one back here. I don't know what color I'm going to have the bottom of this tray. I haven't decided yet. Well. Wow. Come on, pigment. This is such a beautiful color. Beautiful. It looks like a lipstick color that I would wear. <laughs> I think that's why it drew, drew me to it. Because I love this color in lipstick and fingernail polish. Can you see how gorgeous this is? Gorgeous. And this is metallic paste. Okay. Here's that one. Let me get the pink one stirred in. And this pink is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It is. It's just gorgeous. And it did made it, make it... It's not... Com I mean, I can see my stick through it a little bit. So I really don't want it no darker than that. I guess semi-transparent, semi-translucent. 
the bottom make sure yeah that's how I want it well I don't think it's all mixed in okay I'll start a little bit longer Okay, I think that'll do it. Alrighty. Here it goes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pour these in here. Oh, you probably can't see. Let me move this out of the way real quick. And we'll just put it all back. There we go. Okay. Okay. Good. Oops. I'm going to try to get them as full as I can now so I don't have to. Go back and. Fill them in later. I like these to be as full as they can be. Um, I just think that they look better the first time around. The, you know, if you can get them to dome the first time. They do look so much better, so that's what I'm trying to do with this one. Okay. And I have a little bit left here. Not very much, so I think I'll probably do the diamonds. For the diamond shape. Okay, that one. This will probably take all of this. Woo. Slow down. Oh, I poured way too much. Let's get some of that out of there. I think it's still too much. Well, I don't want to take out that big hunk. Oh my word. I'm making it worse. I should have left it alone. I hope this lighting is okay in here. I did get it new light bulb put in in this room overhead but still looks kind of dark and dull to me oh my word guess I ain't gonna have to take that out for a second oh yeah it went down quite a bit that's what it was that was just one big hunk of foil stuck together and it was way too much for that these down. okay let's get these back over here whoops okay oh, I gotta fix that in this mode it kind of sinks in in the middle Or like towards the middle and it makes these earrings a little uneven pendants or whatever you want to call them 
There we go. We'll try that. I gotta get a paper towel and try to wipe that off. Oops. Yeah, and these gloves are too big that I've got on. Okay. Excuse me. My nose. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Let's get the tray poured. Oops. Big old hair. My hair. Alrighty. Give this a, another little stir up. And I'm just going to go around and start pouring dots. Whew. Okay. Yeah, that's about as as much resin on there as I want there to be for now. Because I want to leave room for my lights in it. Uh, wow, I got a lot of resin left. Hang on a minute. Let me find something really quick. Put these in. <clears throat> okay, what? Well, no, I can't do that. Here we go. I have this new herb grinder, so let me get a little bit of clear, put in here. I just wanted to, a little tiny bit. How pretty would this be to have in your kitchen to be able to grind up all your little spices you're growing in your garbage? Or garbage. Lord. Garden. I wish I would have had one. I had a ton of sage. Year before last. Okay, there's that. Let's do the top of this one. It'll probably go in both, but I want one of them to be. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I shouldn't have filled that up that much. I forgot. I gotta dig out the hose. Boy, I'm doing things backwards today. Still got lots of resin. Okay. I'm just filling in some of the jewelry things back here in the back. I can't move them again, but I'm going to go ahead and pour these on here so I don't want it to get too hot on me. Let this get down a little bit. Okay. Now with these grinders, you have to get down into all these little holes really well. Because if you do not, you will get air bubbles. 
and they do come with magnets to help with them going together after they're cured and I have them but I decided to, to stop using them because it wasn't um, they wasn't strong enough to keep it totally together so you want to go around these outside edges rather well Best way I can tell, too, if you got all those holes is if you hold it up in the air and look through it from the bottom. That's about the only way you're going to know it. And you got to push hard down in those little things to get the air bubbles out of there. And so far with this resin, this Kisrael resin, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not hurting anybody else use it. Um, or even say the name. I don't know if it's Kisrael, Kisrael. I don't know. But it does have a super glass finish on it. The few things that I have made with it has turned out really, really nice. I really do like it. I keep working with these. I have messed up several of these grinders by the air not getting down in there really good and all the teeth not forming. But I am I've got a plan on to use the ones that didn't turn out so I'm not really wasting the resin. Okay, I'm going to spray it with alcohol to help pop air bubbles, all everything that I've got done here. Okay, I forgot to go around there. There's one on the earrings. I'm just going around it really well here. I've got to get something in the middle of that. I don't know what that center wants to flow in. I don't know, I'll fix something in a minute, but I do have a little bit here just left, so I think I am going to do this. And if it marbles, it marbles. Oh no. I've never done this. Usually everything on me goes together too much. With this being a bigger piece, I, I want some color difference a little bit. Okay. There's those two. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a clear push get this even well get that scooted over a little bit get this up uh, what 
what is that? The bag. Don't know how that happened. Must have been on the bottom of this mode. Come on. And, ooh. Shit. Let's get you over here. I think, uh, yep, I still see air bubbles. You, you gotta keep at these for a while. Because bevels aren't good in these kind of projects. once they're in there they're in there and these points don't form and then it's the project is ruined you cannot fix those points you don't want to take the chance to get these to any of these points to break and come out in your spices for sure all right in that pretty pretty color I don't know if I'm gonna have any pink at all in that but I think the darker is gonna take over on the lighter might have a shimmer or two here and there okay I'm gonna turn my heating mat on and then in a couple hours I'll be able to come around and put my other lighter on I'll see you then